Hi, welcome to another video by Fortune Buchholz of NotFortuneSchool.com. It's been about, I guess, five or six weeks since I've made a video for you, uh, and I have been asked by some readers and followers if I would make a quick refresher video about timing in the kipper. So uh, this is going to be a video about the cards that I use and find helpful for doing timing uh, in Chiro Marchetti's Fin de Siècle Kipper. Um, of course, you know, uh, timing is a dicey thing. The cards that work for me may not always work so well for you. This is the kind of thing, of course, that you have to experiment with. It's also uh, important to realize that at times, especially in the Grand Tableau, if you're using these cards that I'm showing you uh, in their house format, so that, so that the subject card or significator card that may fall into a certain house, and then you're using that kind of, you know, house for the timing, uh, you may want to be aware that depending on the rest of the cards in the Grand Tableau, depending on the story that is happening in the Grand Tableau, uh, the timing may be triggered. That is, you know, the lady may be in a house that, say, indicates three months, maybe, you know, she's in house 28, three months wait, um, but you know that three months wait or that expectation may not begin until other events you know in the tableau have trust transpired or have completed themselves so it's not always as simple as we can just you know uh, take a card take a house and say okay you know 20 days or you know six months or whatever you really have to look overall at the story and see how these things might be playing out also, since we have so many people in the Kipper, right, there's always the question of other people's free will. So other people may need to take action or may need to make a decision and you may need to wait on that or your timing may kick off depending on that. And that's something that you kind of have to really sit down and think about or be willing to talk to your sitter about, right? Otherwise, to just use some kind of like rigid timing as some, um, perhaps less skillful people do in the tarot, you know, these cards are by the decans and this is how the timing has to be. Uh, this is not how we understand it in the Kipper. But again, we're, we're dealing with a novel here. We're telling a story, right? So there's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of interplay and uh, things are, are much more fluid. So I really encourage you to be wise, to step back, to look long-term, to not, uh, to just avoid, you know, oversimplifying the situation that you find in a grand tableau and that's all I'm going to say about the timing. Um, but that caveat aside, I'm going to just go ahead and go through the cards as they work for me. Of course, the best way to find what works for you is simply to journal them, right? And then over a really short period, you know, it'll become clear how the cards are working for you and certainly within nine months to a year, you'll have your own system you know, completely down pat. And of course, I always encourage you to do what works for you. There is no Kipper dictator, as I like to say. The beautiful thing about the Kipper is, as I said, it's novelistic, it's impressionistic, it's personalized, it floats somewhere between romanticism and realism. That's what gives it its charm, or as I like to say, its perfume. So I just want to encourage you to kind of roll with that, be open to that, and above all, think, narrative storytelling novel. So uh, that aside, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go through the cards here and uh, we'll see what you have to say. So of course, uh, we're always interested in now, suddenly, unexpectedly. For this, I use Sudden Wealth, card 11, right? Because sudden, right? Now, instantly, unexpectedly. Okay. Um, then I like to use um, for things that are less than a week, say, you know, a few days to a week, right? I like to use the term living room, card 21, family living room, as Chiro calls it, right? Um, family room. And this is, uh, again, because it's close to you, it's near you, it's literally, quote unquote, in the room with you. So this means it's very, very, very close, very near. Seven message or letter, you know, uh, it, they take about a week to come and it's card seven. So, you know, a week, about a week. 
Okay, so unexpected income, 27, two weeks. This comes from its association with household finance and checks. You know checks used to take two weeks to clear. Does anyone actually still use checks anymore? Does anyone remember checks? Anyway, two weeks, about two weeks. 16, thoughts, his thoughts, about a month. So you see how nicely structured everything is, is in the Kipper, right? Nine, change, two months. Expectation, three months wait, three months. House, six months. Pathway, one to two years. I really personally don't think that a grand tableau talks about a period too much outside of six months to a year. In fact, I normally try to look at the grand tableau as a, as a time period, as a picture that is set for about six months. So if we're just talking about the timing per se, you know, I would say six months to a year, although if you draw by itself or in a smaller spread, do expect that it could be, you know, one to two years, two years wait even, right? Some people call this card two years patience. So that's kind of the, you know, the length there. Now let's talk then about uh, some other cards, and this involves the cards that are kind of unique to Chipper's debt, to Kiro's to Kiro's, excuse me, to Kiro's Kipper deck. <laughs> Clearly I need more coffee here. Um, and so we're just gonna go through these. Imprisonment or prison, 29. Uh, this means that the time is unknown, indefinite, because blocked, right? You're held up for an unknown and indefinite period of time because you're not in control here. So usually, but not always, the person who is in control, right, is going to be the officer, the military man, right, the official person, right, and so you should go look for him in Chiro's deck, he's the, the field brigadier, right, the field marshal there, and look to him, because uh, he is the person who's in control, literally, right, so, um, you know, check that out, and he may have clues as to what will help you, you know, unblock this, all right, so then, again, using two cards that are unique to Chiro's Kipper, 37, Poverty, Right, since poverty means never having enough, I'm experimenting and uh, with this card meaning never, and so far that's kind of worked out for me. Um, but you know, it, we may need a little more time. Uh, I have only really been using this deck since October, so there's still you know some time for me to kind of figure out all the aspects of the timing for myself and for my own readings according to my own journaling. But so far, never is going pretty well for me with this card. And then 39 community. Again, these are the people who are always there for you. So I'm have been experimenting with the meaning of always, you know, uh, for this uh, card. And again, so far that has been working for me. I'd be very interested in having you all, you know, experiment with this, journal journal this, and then get back to me after a little while and tell me, you know, how these extra card meanings are working for you in terms of time. Okay, so let's go on. Card 36. Chiro calls it Distant Horizons. You may know it as Great Hope, Great, Great Water. And I you like to use this card for day. And then Coffin, 19. I like to use this card for night. Okay, Child, Spring, 26, Great Fortune, or, you know, Grosse Glücke, Summer. 34, Occupation, Fall. Autumn. And then uh, 17. I like to use 17 gift uh, for winter or Yule because of its association obviously with Christmas. But you know again this is the card that has the really interesting timing situation that is completely unique to the Kipper and that is that it can mean your birthday or it can mean the next holiday. So kind of uh, balance it out when you're asking the question and looking at the overall story of the tableau to kind of give you a sense of whether it's, you know, Christmas, uh, Yule, or whether it means your birthday or the next coming up holiday, whatever that may be. So uh, these are the cards that I'm using for timing. This is how I'm doing the timing. As you can see, again, Kipper has a very nicely structured sense of timing. Um, and, uh, you know, I like it a lot. It's one of the advantages, I think, of the Kipper. But again, 
you have to do what works for you. So I do have a couple more uh, videos uh, to make. As you know, I have been traveling and I did finish up my Lenormand project. I am going to start a tarot project, I believe, in April, and then I will be traveling again in May. So uh, I'm going to make a couple more videos while I have a chance, but if there's another six, six week or so lapse in my videos, um, I just want to thank you for your support and, uh, you know, now I've explained why and uh, I've been really grateful for everybody who's been following along and offering me such great comments. Again, I'm still grateful for my co-authors uh, such as Suzanne Zitzel and of course for Chiro Marchetti. I'm very excited for the upcoming commercial release of the Fin de Siècle Kipper, which I believe is coming next fall in uh, fall of 2016. So I do hope that everyone looks for that. So even if you, um, you know, don't have a Chiro deck yet, he still does, I believe, have a few left that you can order off his website. Um, or of course you can simply wait for the uh, version of the deck that's coming mass market and I know that that will be a beautiful addition and it'll be really worth your time. So thanks so much uh, and I really appreciate your time. Have a great day until I talk to you again. Bye!